Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today, we'll be remaking Nicki Minaj's track, Good Form, featuring Lil Wayne. So let's get straight to it. First things first, let's go ahead and change our tempo to 96.5 beats per minute, as that is the tempo of the record. And uh, we're gonna start off with our main sound that we hear throughout the entire record, that pluck. And uh, for that sound, we are going to bring in Logic's ESP polyphonic synth. And uh, we're gonna start off with a preset. Uh, it's called the DJ Mustard Pluck Bass Synth that we put together a, a while back. But we're gonna use that preset here and we'll manipulate it in a moment. Let's just go ahead and draw in that sound. All right, and all this does is repeats itself. Let's go ahead and just do that right now. We're we'll actually shorten this up, so it's a quick pluck. And uh, let's just go ahead and repeat that. And we get something like this. All right, next thing we're gonna do is open up our ESP right here. And uh, let's adjust it to get sort of more like the sound in the original track. All right, so what we're gonna do here is turn down all these sliders and we're just gonna use this one over here all the way up. Pull up the resonance a little bit. Pull up, pull up this a little bit. We're gonna make the attack very plucky, so let's pull that all the way down. Pull down the decay a little bit. Pull up the sustain. Maybe that's a little too much. Pull back the release a little bit just like that. I'm gonna pull down the overdrive a little bit as well. So there is our sound right there. Uh, next, let's go ahead and open up an EQ. And uh, let's just filter out some of the stuff that we don't need, a lot of the lower end info. Let's do a slope of 12 dBs per octave. Let's push this to about 300 here. Take out some of that MIDI range there, so take out some of that muddiness. Take out some of the money this muddiness there as well. All right, so next what we're gonna do here is open up a um, distortion plugin overdrive add some saturation to the sound not too much just a little bit it's gonna do push it to one so like that just fattens up that sound a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and add in logic's reverb we'll just use the default settings that as a reverb. Now this sound pretty much repeats itself for the entire record. It's actually a pretty unique and cool idea because it sort of creates this tension that happens throughout the entire track and you're waiting for something to happen because it's the same sustained chord over and over. All right, so there's our main sound right there. Next, let's go ahead and just layer up this sound a little bit to get a little bit more of some pluckiness out of it. We're gonna create a new softer instrument track. And uh, for this, we're just gonna copy down the same MIDI. Let's solo this out for a moment. And uh, we're gonna bring in Logic's EFM1 synth, or FM synth. We're just gonna use the default settings that load up here. And uh, this is what it sounds like. So we're gonna use that to kind of bring out that pluckiness value. We're just gonna go ahead and mix it in nicely. All 
right, next let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. Let's unsolo this. We don't need that soloed anymore. And uh, what we're going to do here is bring in those strings set here. So we're going to go to synthesizer, strings, and we're going to bring in the authentic strings here. And uh, let's go ahead and draw that pattern in. We're going to use the default settings, whatever it is. It's simply a ES2 synth preset in Logic. <laughs> Draw that in here. I think it's going to go up. It's going to go up one more time. So there's our string set right there. All we got to do is add in some delay here. We're going to bring in Logic's Echo. And uh, we're going to switch this up to um, pull back the feedback a little bit. Pull up the dry and bring down the wet to about something like that. Right, and then we're going to bring in Logic's Reverb, and uh, let's make that a little bit drier. Alright, so that sounds good like that. This duplicates itself, and then the strings do change up a little bit. Just going to duplicate that once again. So the strings over here, instead of going on that A, it goes on an F. And then this copies over, and it kind of sounds like this when it goes into each other. Right, so let's go ahead and work over here, create a new software instrument track. And uh, we're going to bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. Bring in that good form drum kit, make it nice and loud. And uh, we're going to bring in that sort of low percussion that's in there. And uh, it just happens once, or once in this pattern. Here we go, let's see where it is. <laughs> make that a little bit louder as well. All right, so there it is right there. Next, let's go ahead and duplicate this over. And uh, let's start working on our drum patterns. There's a couple drum patterns in this beat. And uh, we're going to go through each one of them, starting with the first one right here. Let's go ahead and duplicate this drum track. And um, let's start off with the kick. I'm going to turn on my limiter here so that we don't uh, distort. And that just follows itself once again. So there's our kick pattern. Let's go ahead and duplicate that track. And let's draw in our clap pattern. Next, we're going to duplicate this track, and uh, let's draw in that open hats. I 
actually the first one is this one. Let's push this over here. All right, let's go ahead and duplicate this track, add in our second one. And all this does, this gets pushed over to here and up. Actually, that's the hi-hat. There it is right there. It's the same sound, just has a short, uh, shortened release time. All right, and finally, let's go ahead and add in our hi-hats. All right, so our hi-hat, I believe, was here. So it goes like something like this. Ooh. Goes like this. Goes like that. And this happens again here. And then we can get a quick stutter over here, right before this clap. All right, so there is the first drum pattern right there. So we just duplicate that over the four bars. All right, and then this go ahead uh, gets duplicated once again, and the drums change up a little bit here. All right, so for the clap, let's sort of duplicate the track so it's all separated nicely for us. For the clap, we're gonna put them each on the ones. So let's open that up, and uh, we're just gonna copy it over like this. All right, and then for the open hats, let's go ahead and uh, copy that over. And let's put that on the ones as well. Like that. The hi-hats come into play here as well, except the last pattern is not there. Let's take that out. Actually, let's go ahead and just undo that. It's just this section that's out. All right, so that's giving you that nice build up to the actual course. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and first create some room for ourselves. Sorry, you guys, it's been a little crowded here on the screen. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And we are going to bring in the ES2 software synthesizer 2 in Logic Pro. And we're going to bring in that 808 preset that we like to use because an 808 comes into play here. Let's go ahead and open up that up, that up and uh, start off with that first pattern. We're going to go to a nice low octave. And we're going to go on this right here. So let's go change this back to our pencil tool. Actually, I think it's half eighth notes. So it's something like that. Let's just stretch this out here. All right, for the ES2, let's pull up the drive a little bit. So we'll leave it like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy this over, or at least this pattern. 
and then our 808s change up a little bit here. So this goes down to an F, and then it goes back up to the A here. All right, so that's it for that section over there. And then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. And then we're going to go ahead and let's duplicate that once again, because we're going to bring in the strings. Let's bring back all of our original drum sets. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and draw in another 808 pattern here. Uh, let's just duplicate this and draw in that 808 pattern. Same 808 sound. And uh, let's get started here. to the next section over here. We are going to copy over this set of drums. We're going to copy over the 808, except we're just going to truncate it to the first half of that pattern we just drew in. And then over here, our clap comes back into play, our secondary clap pattern, our open hat, and our hi-hats as well. I believe this was our hi-hats, yeah. Except the only thing that we're going to add right here is the drum kick or the kick drum. It changes up as well. We're just put in that right now. There it is right there. And it goes like that. And then it pretty much goes back into just these plucks, and then it goes back into the drums. And then it kind of repeats itself for the entire record. So there is the remake right there, Nicki Minaj's Good Form, remade in Logic Pro 10. This song also features Lil Wayne on the music video. I think on the album, I'm not sure if the Lil Wayne verse was on it, but uh, he is featured on this track as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Listen to the remake we just put together, Nicki Minaj's Good Form featuring Lil Wayne. Let's go. <laughs>
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, so that right there is the Good Form remake by Nicki Minaj featuring Lil Wayne. For your Logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place that as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. For your non-Logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm going to go ahead and export all these MIDI stems, audio stems, and of course include the drum kit that we used in this tutorial. You can find that entire play pack in the description box below this video. If you do have any questions on this or just want to chat, let's go ahead and talk in the comment section below. And if you did like this video, remember thumbs up and share it. And if you are new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to hit that subscribe button for more great videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace. Hold up, hold up, hold up.